I am going to walk you through a completely passive way to flip a home out of state. Kenny from California, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, folks, and uh, what we do on Holton Wise TV, okay, for those new viewers out there, we start with real estate education, okay? Real estate, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people out there on YouTube, other channels, whatnot, they're teaching you real estate education. Nothing revolutionary there. We're teaching that education as well, but we do a few things above and beyond that. We go a little bit different, okay? The first thing we do is we teach you realistic expectations. Everybody else wants to talk about the good stuff. We talk about the bad stuff as well. You don't believe me? Take a look at the Tennis from Hell show. In addition to that, we go above and beyond right what we do there what we do that's different than everybody else we look at analyze work with real deals real people like yourselves right which brings me to this show I am analyzing a property from my man Kenny Kenny is an investor in California and he wants to flip homes he's got uh, a little bit over a hundred thousand dollars in cash to play with right so some other shows you know, they might uh, teach you how to flip a house. They'll talk to you about how to analyze this or analyze that, how to hire contractors, how to do this, how to do that. But then when it comes to actually putting it into play in the real world, it turns out like a lot more difficult than they made it seem, right? Well, we put our money where our mouth is here on Holton Wise TV. This is a real property, okay? 5203 Yorkshire Avenue, Parma, 44134. Been on the market a little over a week, eight days List price, $89,900. This is actually for sale. I am hopefully going to lay this out for my man, Kenny, and I am hopefully going to assist Kenny in getting this property under contract, then eventually closed and sold to him, and then my team is going to do all the renovations I'm talking about, right? So we're putting all this into play in the real world. We're not just going and giving him this education and then just like, you know, letting him flounder out there, right? This is a real deal, folks. We are a real property management company, real investors, real flippers. I have a real insurance company, real title companies. My guys will be the guys in this property swinging those hammers, pulling those toilets, doing the stuff, right? So as far as the property goes, bro, it's a nice solid brick bungalow, dude. I like Parma flips, especially for guys like you. Parma flips are great, right? Our, our, our office is actually in Parma. Parma is an inner rig suburb of Cleveland, right? So we're one of our offices. We have a few offices, but one of them is literally uh, in Parma across the street from Cleveland. So that's how close it is to Cleveland. But Parma, they, you know, this is uh, just a neighborhood we're super familiar with. We're always in there. I actually grew up in the Parma area, right? And what Parma has is a ton of of little 1200 square foot bungalows just like this right it's almost like cookie cutter right i could literally run the numbers on a parma property off the top of my fucking head okay and this one what you see here this this is where you got to put your investor hat on okay because like a lot of people will look at this and think oh man this is good the walls is neutral color it's it's fresh the flooring is fresh it's good to go not necessarily it's not really good to go okay this does not look like the actual hardwoods to me this looks like they actually put like some type of like vinyl plank flooring over it. I don't think these are the real hardwoods. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think they are. Like you can kind of see the stuff is like popping up. So we are going to factor in flooring into our numbers, okay? And as far as colors, we're going to factor repainting it too cuz once you get to the other rooms, right? They're just they're just gross and nasty. So even though that living room looked, you know, halfway decent, well, first off, a lot of times it might not even be that decent, but it'll look decent in the picture, then you get up close and it's kind of scuzzy, and then you'll get rooms like this where it's like just you could already clearly tell it's scuzzy, right? We're missing the baseboard, the carpet's disgusting, we got broken blinds, all that crap, right? You could tell this room is 
jacked. But say the other room that I think we're going to have to do the flooring, and I'm going to go over that budget, and I think we're going to have to repaint it anyway. But say for whatever reason it looked good, we wouldn't want to just go in and like paint like eight of the ten rooms in the house or something like that. The cost isn't going to go up that much to just get it all done, right? When we get into the kitchen here, we got some issues with the kitchen, right? Kitchen flooring. I don't know what's going on here, but that doesn't look good to me. We're going to redo this floor. As you can see, we're missing a baseboard, right? Now, we have some Home Depot Lowe's quality cabinets here. That is cool. We could probably work with that, but we're going to want to swap out our uppers, right? As you can see, they do not match. It appears these were probably the originals. These were some swap outs. And as far as the countertop, we may want to adjust that as well. And like the whole like backsplash, cabinets uh outlets and outlet covers all being blue that just ain't gonna fly this like uh baby blue and mustard look <laughs> isn't gonna appeal to anybody okay uh another room up here right you got you know old looking linoleum flooring not gonna do well right this room totally redone right and then we swing down into the basement you got some issues here so let's start talking about numbers right the price, 89900 Kenny, I think that's the price you're going to have to put this under the market at, right? You're going to have to put this under contract, rather. That's what I'm trying to say. You're going to have to put it under contract at eighty nine nine. Properties like this, they're going to fly. This is the cheapest single-family home in Parma right now. So we're not going to mess around. We need to lock this son bitch up. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, Go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. 89.9 is the price point I want you to lock it up at. Now, I've been talking about some of the renovation stuff I want to do, right? And this is where things get a little tricky because I don't have all the answers for you right now, but we're going to get you all the answers. And I'm going to lay out the game plan for you, right? You have to understand, when you do these flips, brother, there's going to be unknowns. Right, but I'm going to show you how to navigate through those. The first thing we're going to work with is what we know. All right, thus far, painting and patching walls on the low end. I know we're going to spend at least 35, possibly as much as 65. Refinish those hardwood floors again. I think there's some issues. Low end 4K, high end 6K. Kitchen, we're going to spend as little as 10,000, as much as 15,000. Then we get into the bathroom. Now I've shown you here on this chart. I get two options how I like to do bathrooms. We're going to go. Uh, with a, uh, a one piece here and a reglazed tub surround, right? In higher end homes, I want to see like custom showers with like tiles and stuff. But what we're trying to hit in the Parma market, all we need to do is like the one piece reglazed stuff. So we're going to spend as little as three in that bathroom as much as five. So with what that is right there, that is uh, what we're going to need to do, what I know we need to do. There's going to be a little bit more, though, right? Cruising down to the bottom, okay? If you see in there, I got 15 hundo for dry locking the basement. I see a little bit, it appears to be a little bit of a mold coming up, okay, on the floor right here. And then there's another picture which highlights it pretty well here, right? You see this this dark shit right here? coming up all right that's that's like some mold so it appears that we have a damp basement so on the low end we're going to factor in at least 15 hundo at most two thousand dollars to take care of that mold now last picture of the basement again you see you see it a little bit more right here a little bit more right there okay so with what we have thus far dude on a minimum, I am guaranteeing you that you need to spend at least $22,000. Now, if you pick it up at $89,900, because I think you're going to have to put it under contract at that price or you're not going to have a chance here. And we everything goes our way. We spend the low end of what I've told you thus far. We only spend $22,000. The ARV on this house, it's $145,000, no problem. So with the sales commission of 7% and the closing cost of 1%, all in, our costs would be $123,500. So you would make a profit 
of $21,500. If everything worked out and what I've just explained to you came in at $22,000. But there's some things here that can go the other way, and that's what we got we to gotta work on, right? Now, as far as like the low to the high end for the painting and patching walls, refinish the hardwoods, the kitchen, it's, it's going to be real hard for me to narrow that down any more than that small uh, window right now until we at least see the inspection. But that's not even going to be the big thing I'd worry about. The big thing that we need to worry about right now, brother, is these big ticket items, okay? The roof, the furnace, the AC, the hot water tank, the electrical panel, and the windows. We have not received any information on these other than the seller saying sold as is. Now, this hot water tank, if we do have to replace that on the high end, it's going to be $1,000. I can't tell you right now here today which of these items we're going to have to replace and which ones we won't. What we need to do is put this under contract at 89900 make it contingent on your own third-party home inspection. The inspector is going to spend about three, four hours at the property going over all these things with a fine-tooth comb, running the furnace, running the hot water tank, checking everything out, right? Is it fair to assume that we're not going to need to do anything to the roof furnace, AC, hot water tank, electric panel uh, in the windows? No, probably not. We're probably going to have to do some of those. Uh, well, actually, let me clarify. I don't think we're going to have to do the windows in this home. The price point we're trying to hit, we usually don't have to replace windows in our Parma flips. But the other items, right? The roof, the furnace, the AC, the hot water tank, the electric panel, okay? 6K, 3K, 4K, 1K, 2K, right? Those are the max prices. At this moment, I don't know of those what we need to do. So that's going to be when we renegotiate with those sellers, right? So we try to put it under contract then. And then maybe when it comes back after we review our inspection, maybe we realize our furnace, our AC, our hot water tank, and our electrical are all good, but we have an issue. The roof is all jacked up, right? So we have $6,000 that that's probably going to cost us, right? If everything was all jacked up and all of the cosmetic stuff ran to the max, right? The deal wouldn't make sense at the current price because you could spend as much as 50500 but that's unlikely, but we don't have that info till we review the inspection report. But let's just say the only thing different than what we have currently is a $6,000 roof, right? We're contracted at eighty nine nine. If you wanted to move forward, right, you could, right? Because right now you're slated to make 21500 right? If you had to do the $6,000 roof, You'd make a profit of fifteen thousand five hundred. That would be cool too. That would be acceptable. Another thing, though, is we can go back to that seller. Like, yo, hey, go ahead and give us a six thousand dollar price reduction because the roof's bad. We didn't know that before. Now we know the roof's bad, and you'll still hit your profit margin of twenty one thousand five hundred, right? So. What we want to do is try to make approximately 15 to 20K on this deal. How it's all going to shake out, it's, it's a little bit uh, out, out in the open right now. It remains to be seen, right? Because there's a lot of money there between those things, right? We got 6,000, 3,000, that's 9, plus 4, 13, 14, 15. We got essentially $16,000 of unknowns, right? If it turns out those unknowns, are all messed up, right? And we have to replace them all. And you still bought it at the 89.9. It would, you know, be a profit, but it's a tiny profit, 5,500. Not really worth the risk, right? So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go back to the drawing board and negotiate with the seller. Perhaps it comes out that there's $10,000 of stuff we have to do, and maybe you take a $5,000 haircut and only profit about 15, 16 K. And then the seller takes a $5,000 haircut. That's what we need to do. Right. But right now to lock it up, to make sure nobody else can get in there, we got to go full price, 89, nine, get that inspection. And if I had to guess, I'd say we're probably going to be somewhere in the range of doing half of these things. But again, without a full third party home inspection, that all remains to be seen. But what you shouldn't do, Kenny is assume that all of these items are going to be brand new. Because if they were, there would be no rhyme or reason for the seller selling this at such a basement price 
in Parma. Wouldn't make any sense, right? We got an ARV of 145K. You're going to have to do a little bit more than slap in some new cabinets and do a little bit of paint, right? So I think we're probably going to do half of those big ticket items. So, my man, I thought this would be perfect for you. Nice, easy cookie cutter flip for my team. We're very familiar with this market. I see no scenario where I do not hit the projected ARV of 145000 and it falls in your budget. So, if you want to buy this flip, dude, let us know in the private link. We will write up the contract for you. Of course, make it uh, contingent on those inspection. You could hire any inspector you like, or we will refer you to some that many of our clients have worked with. And then when we get that inspection report, we will review that with you. And then we will, if necessary, go back to those sellers and try to beat them down and you know, try to get that price down to where we can make our target of 15 to twenty thousand dollars and just so you know brother that is the cost when i give you these bids this is the cost for you to hire holton wise contracting to do all of that right so it's not like this is just materials and there's more costs these are going to be the out of the door estimates right labors materials permits everything my team will handle everything fully passive for you brother everybody else if you like what i did for kenny today and you are interested in working with the holton wise team to either build a rental portfolio or flip homes you can work with us in a few ways you go to holdenwise.com click the property search for sale tab we got a few things we do we are the number one seller of rental properties investment properties in the cleveland market we have another show here on holton wise tv called the investment properties for sale sales show check that out subscribe to it Get the daily emails. We send it to you every day at 1 o'clock. If you see those properties, you can bid on them. But no, since we're so big, we have so many people to watch our show. It's not very interactive. We show you the show. You watch it. You like it. You bid. We'll give you instructions on how to bid, but you're competing with other investors. If you want a one-on-one -on -one interactive uh, thing between myself and you, you want to be here. The MLS Search and Analysis Show, okay? We sell packages, whether we analyze one property, three property, ten properties, whatever you want. We sell you the packages. You tell us your goals, your wants, your needs, your situation. And I provide you a completely transparent and personalized video like this. This video is currently private when Kenny's watching it. If anybody else out there is watching it who isn't Kenny, uh, that's probably two, three months after the deal is done. I do not release these videos publicly on Holton Wise TV till the deal is done. Y'all can't just watch the show and snake my man Kenny's deal. You got to pay to play, dudes. You got to pay to play, right? So that is all of those. Those all those packages. By the way, I highly recommend you guys do... Uh, the bigger packages of multi-properties, right? Because I laid out a great way for him to make fifteen and twenty thousand dollars. We gotta remember, guys, who doesn't want fifteen and twenty thousand dollars, right? It's completely passive. Kenny watches this video. It's like what twenty-five minutes long. He watches the video. He sends some cash out, and then Holton Wise puts everything together for him, and boom, he makes fifteen to twenty k. Well, yeah, who doesn't want fifteen to twenty k, right? There's a lot of other people bidding on it. So every property I analyze with this type of profit, guys, it's not going to go down. So you're probably going to want to do the bigger packages, three pack, four pack, ten pack, because we got to get the right deals at the right prices. It takes time. It's a numbers game. There's competition, right? You can't just wake up one day and be like, yo, I want to make $20,000. Boom, 20 minutes of effort, you get 20 k Don't work that way, right? If you're looking for that, watch those other YouTube channels where they don't actually work with you in practice. And then last thing, uh, from our more seasoned folks who are down to do all this kind of stuff on their own, don't need much from us, you go here, you can get my direct MLS access. So you're, if you're a flipper or you know, you're looking for seller financing or any of this jazz. You just want the data, you want the inventory. You can get my direct pre-sorted MLS access anytime something that fits into the A class flips or the B class flips comes on the market. You'll get the info so you don't have to wait three, four days for it to go on like realtor.com or Zillow, right? A lot of competition with these deals, so the way you take them down is getting to them before everybody else, all right? That's all I've got for today's show. I hope everyone dug it. If you're a first-time viewer, do yourself a solid and smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world.
world. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Thiel, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our U.S.-based support team by phone, email, and chat, who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.